Okay, so wooden spike consists of a hemisphere, a cylinder, and a cone joined together as shown below. The radius of the cylinder is 5 centimeters and its length is 22 centimeters. So we can mark that on our diagram here. So we're told that the radius of this cylinder, which is sort of on its side, is of five centimeters so remember radius is from the edge of the circle circumference to its center um, and then the whole length of the um, cylinder they refer into here is 22 okay um, what else are we told we're told the volume of the spike is 23 eight two so the spike they're referring to the whole thing right the wooden spike um and we're told that it's 2382 um so we're not told anything about the cone apart from the fact that it's got a base radius of five because it joins perfectly with the cylinder so we know the radius we don't actually know the height of our um cone here so i'm going to call it sort of h and with the uh hemisphere we just need the radius of course, we know the radius of a hemisphere will be the same as the radius of the cylinder with that join there. Um, so it will sweep around five centimeters there. So actually, we know that this bit of length here for the hemisphere is five. Yeah, so we, we already know that's five. We know this is 22 for the cylinder. We just need to work out H. Um, now, the combined, the combined shape is a hemisphere and of course the volume for hemisphere is two-thirds pi r cubed plus then the cylinder and the formula for cylinder well the cylinder is like a prism so it's got like a cross section of a circle which is pi r squared and then the cross section is pi r squared for the area of a circle times then the height of it um, and then plus then the cone which will be one-third okay uh, pi r squared h that formula is given to us in the exam so when you add the three volumes together that should total to 2382 okay so it's a case then of substituting in what we know so we know um pi is 3.14 we know the radius of the hemisphere is five um, and then we've got the cylinder then 3.14 times the radius which is five radius squared so 5 squared times the height of the cylinder which is 22 and then plus then 1 third times 3.14 times the radius squared for the cone which is 5 squared times then the height so we don't know what the height is so we essentially if we can work out what the height is I can then work out the overall length of that spike yeah so that will equal then to 2382 adding the three separate volumes together so it's the case now of getting on my calculator and working this out and i could work all this out in one move in one go okay so i could do um let's have a look here i could do two thirds um it's a fraction two thirds times 3.14 times five cubed um plus 3.14 times 5 squared times 22 so I can do all that in one go and I get 5966 divided by 3 or if I press the SD I get 1988.6 recurring plus then this here so let's work that out 1 third times 3.14 times 5 squared which is 26.16 recurring and that's attached to h that's why i did that separately so a moment ago if, if you noticed i sort of did that calculation in one go i did the i added the volume of the hemisphere and the cylinder together because i could do that straight away on my calculator but i did the the, the cone separately because i didn't know what h was so I work that out on my calculator, those numbers I know there, but leave it times H. That will be 2382. What we need to do then is solve this like an equation. 
so we can get to, so we can eliminate it to work out h so i'm going to have if i write this first here right 20 move over a bit 26.16 um recurring there um h equals to 2382 and then with this then obviously i need to sort of get it over the other side of the equation so i'm going to take away 1988.6 recurring so if i can work the left the right hand side out here so 2382 take away 1988 point and then i can get the recurring button on there if i press shift on this button here uh six so i get then three nine three point three recurring so that would be two twenty six point one six h and then to get h then obviously i just divide through three nine three point three recurring i'm going to divide then by twenty six point one six recurring so I've got my answer here. So if I just do ants divide by 26.1 and then press shift and that button for the recurring six press equals and I get H to be pretty much 15, 15.03 centimeters. Um, so in terms of um, then we know that's 15. In terms of the overall length here, so I know that's 15, it's just gonna add them up. So five, add 22, add, 15 so the length will be then 42 centimeters